My recollection is, yeah, we didn't have far to go. We were walking down the aisle. There was no aisle. Well, no, it was kind of a piece of carpet. It was three feet. Yeah. That's all we had. And you told me those three things. A, how old you really are. I really was. Yes. B, that I'd been married twice before. Yeah. And C, that I was mentally ill. Wh which one was the head basher? Well, all three. It was sort of like a concussive <laughs> blow. So it's like you can imagine that a grenade went off and then it had sub explosions. And then it hurt. Yeah. I do. I then I started done. laughing because I realized. Laughed. Yeah. You laughed. And I got and confused and I signed the register of yes. <laughs> best wishes, Ruby West. Yes, that's right. You did. I got confused. Yeah. And then we never mentioned it again. No, not really. Did it ever scare you that I said that? <laughs> it wasn't a huge surprise. But it sort of does things like click. Oh, OK, yeah, that kind of might explain this or that. A bit. See, I just keep thinking about the day. This is when I knew you were the best news ever. Is when I was in the hospital and I had to interview somebody who was mentally ill for a website. And we were filming here. And yes. everybody in the institution said, are you insane? And I put lipstick on and they all cheered me as I left. And then I came here and interviewed a person with depression. And I could see the person with depression looking at me and thinking, you are way sicker than I am. I then drove you back yeah. to the institution. And then everybody clapped and Everyone said that clapped. was nuts. Whenever you got depression, you could see there was a sort of panic because of the confusion about what's happening in your head. If you're close to somebody with depression, you've got to help them make the first move to understand that they're sick. In your case, is to be amongst people who suffer the same thing so they can compare notes and talk to each other and support each other. And I've seen you talk to other people who have depression. And you have a, it's kind of like a unique club. I'm only yeah. relieved, really, when I'm with other people that have, that have mental illness. If I see the eyes of another, we have this understanding, and that's, that's the healing.